Boston doctor fighting for his life after being infected with the deadly Ebola virus says he is terrified. In a just released email, Dr. Kent Brantley says, I'm praying fervently that God will help me survive this disease. Dr. Brantley and Nancy Reitbull, the other American health worker infected with Ebola, have shown a slight improvement in the past 24 hours, according to the charity organization they work for. We're now learning that a dose of experimental serum arrived to treat the Americans, but there was only one dose, and Dr. Brantley asked that it be given to Nancy. I believe he is not as well as she is. One dose, he said to give it to her. There are growing fears about the deadliest Ebola outbreak in history spreading to the United States from airline passengers arriving from West Africa. The Centers for Disease Control has just issued a health advisory to all U.S. airline flight crews about the deadly Ebola virus. The CDC says a sick passenger should be isolated, touched only with disposable gloves, and wear surgical masks to reduce the risk that coughing and sneezing could spread Ebola to everyone on the plane. New fears of a global pandemic. All the network and cable news health and medical editors appeared live on their morning shows Thursday to answer questions and urge calm about the Ebola threat. I would not be surprised if we see isolated cases arrive here because you can be have no symptoms for three weeks after you've been infected, but those cases would not spread it around the country. We have good hospitals and good infection control. The Inside Edition viewers are weighing in on our website. Oh my gosh, that is so scary to me, writes one. I'm not worried at all, writes another. We have systems in place to quarantine the virus should it happen in the United States.